no, 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 no. Desert of the test. <laughs> a little nervous, for nervous. sure. All right, so we're going to get started now. Okay. Hi guys, and welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Damon, and today I'm doing a mock test with Gunal. Hello. Now this is the first time we've met, and the first time we'll be driving together. But this isn't your first time driving. Right. You've got quite a bit of experience under your belt. Um, you've been driving in Mumbai on for about how long was it? Eight years. Eight nine years, yeah. Eight nine years, and you have done one driving lesson here. That's true. <laughs> so not a lot, not a lot of experience here, but you, you get what happens. But you've got a test coming up as well. Yes, my test is in March. So you've got quite some time because right now we're in November. So you've got quite a bit of time until your test. So today's mock test is just really to get an idea of how you're doing. If there's any kind of errors. A reality check basically. <laughs> <laughs> so throughout the drive I want you to follow the road ahead. Whenever I need you to turn I will tell you. If I don't say anything keep going straight. We're going to do a bit of independent driving with some signs and we're going to do one manoeuvre. We also may do the emergency stop. Okay. okay? Yeah. Alright so for anyone that's new to the channel don't forget to like the video, comment down below and subscribe if you've not already and select that bell icon so that you get a notification every time that I upload. All right, so before we get started, I'm going to ask you a quick question. Could you tell me about your dipped headlights? How would you turn them on and how would you know they're on? Um, I would know that they're on uh, by an indicator here. And if it's not dipped, then you'll see an indicator on um, on the display. Okay, so you're generally going to see it on, on the dashboard. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, that's fine. So yeah, we'll, we'll get straight into it. So whenever you're ready. Okay. We'll get started. Yeah, so drive off whenever you're ready. Hi guys, welcome back to another mock test with me, Amon. So today we have Gunal, who is an experienced driver. Now, as you guys know, with experienced drivers, they know what they're doing, but they're usually the ones that make silly mistakes that learners wouldn't necessarily be making. But yeah, continue watching to see how he gets on. And I also want to take out this time to say a massive thank you to you guys for supporting my channel. So yeah, thank you in advance. Approaching the next crossroads, we're on the main road and we've got priority, but Gunal waits for oncoming traffic and even invites the traffic from the side road to turn in front of him. Take the next road on your right, please. Sure. Approaching this white car on the left, Gunal gets a serious fault for clearance as we're passing too close. If we were any closer, we would have hit this car. You need to always aim to leave one meter of clearance and if the space you're going through is smaller than that, then you need to go slower. Now there is a parked car on the entrance of this road, but we still needed to turn a little bit later. Had this silver car been approaching earlier, it would have been a serious fault with cutting corners. If you could pull over and park up on the left anywhere safe. Sure. Not too close, yeah? Yeah. That's fine then, thank you. Drive up when you're ready. As you can see, Gunal is still driving closer to the left-hand side of the road. You need to always try to keep the centre of the car in the centre of the road with parked cars on both sides. I'm 
just still going. going. Okay. Just going ahead, yeah. There are various signs along this road showing us there is a width restriction approaching. Now in the distance we need to pass through the left hand side of the road through a narrowing of 7 feet. The van ahead of us goes through the middle of the road and Gunnar starts to follow them. Width restrictions are designed as a traffic calming measure to restrict the size of the vehicles that use these roads and also to slow the traffic down. This section in the middle of the road is for use for emergency vehicles only. The gate here is normally shut, but it happened to be open on this occasion. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. No, let me just help you with this, sorry. Yeah. Release your pedals. Okay. Completely. Okay. Sorry, because we turned into it very late there. All right, back to you. Okay. No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Let me just help you with this, yeah. sorry. Release your pedals. Okay. Completely. Okay. Sorry, because we turned into it very late there. All right, back to you. Turn left. Sure. And if you could pull over and park up on the left, anywhere safe. the next road on your left please sure. when driving down these small residential roads always try to maintain a nice safety bubble around your vehicle of one meter on the sides and two car lengths in front and behind now initially when giving way Gunnar does leave a good amount of space in front but when moving out from this position he gets too close to the gray car on the left The mini roundabout turn right, it's the second exit. after this car. Sure. Don't worry about the driveways on this one again. Okay. That'll be alright there, thank you. 
Okay, Gunnar, what we're going to do now, using the vehicle in front, I'd like you to demonstrate how you would carry out the parallel park exercise. Mm -hmm. So start alongside this vehicle in the road, then reverse back and finish within two car lengths and try not to touch the pavement as you do this. Okay, a silly question. When you say two car lengths, should I leave, a, leave space enough? You need to park enough? within two car spaces. Okay. Okay? Got it. Just make sure you just don't go on the pavement. For sure. Thank you. Um, can I continue? Yeah, start whenever. criteria for this manoeuvre is to demonstrate parking within two car lengths. Now Gunnar does have a tendency to steer with one hand and he does steer quite quickly. Because of this he has to turn the wheel back and forth a few times in order to get into that space. It's a good idea to use both hands on the steering wheel even if your hands cross over the top of the steering wheel this is not a concern as long as you have good control. I'm going to take it a little inside ahead. That's fine, thank you. No, no, it's okay. okay. We're okay where we are. Okay, drive yeah. off whenever you're ready. Turn the next road on your right, please. Sure. turn left. At the mini roundabout, turn left. Now at this traffic light junction we're going to go ahead and then bear left. Okay. We're in the best lane for this. Okay. We're going We're left. going this way. Okay. As we're going forward we're now entering a 20 miles per hour speed limit. You can see this with the speed limit listed on both sides facing you here, which is known as a gateway sign. Now after this point, there are speed limit signs throughout the road that are scattered. As we're driving through, Gunal starts driving up to 26 miles per hour on this road, so it gets a serious fault for this. This is a 20 limit by the way, yeah? I was confused looking at the display here. Yeah, no, you want to go by what's on the road because yeah. it is different in a lot of places. Yeah. Yeah, I think 
think I know the result of the test. <laughs> Traffic lights, mm -hmm. we're going to turn right. to the left of the Oh lane. no, you're okay. okay. I don't know why you hooted. As we were going through this junction, the traffic lights did start changing, but we did not have time and it was not safe to stop at either of these traffic lights. But when one traffic light starts changing, you want to be wary as the next one may be changing soon after. And take the next road on your left. Since the last gateway sign that we had, this is the next speed limit change. On the left hand side, you can see the 30 zone listed and from here on, it is now 30 miles per hour. After this point, there will be no more signs, but you can see it's 30 as there are street lamps, but no signs, no traffic calming measures. And turn left. this roundabout we're meant to be going straight ahead but Gunnar goes into the roundabout and starts to go right without an indicator. Now had there been a vehicle ahead of us this would have gone down as a serious fault. I'm just going to go back round because that exit there okay? Okay. Just put your right signal on to go back round. So no no no. As Kunal brings the clutch up, you can see that the car is jolting a few times in some of the gear changes. The reason for this is because when lifting the clutch up, Gunal tends to keep his heel on the ground and the clutch slides from the top of his foot to the middle arch in his foot, making it harder to release the clutch. You want to aim to keep the clutch on the ball of your foot, that way your foot slides in and out rather than flexing your foot. Yep, so on this next roundabout, we're taking the second exit. It's like 10 o'clock towards Halston. Yep. Ah, uh, second exit, right? Second exit. Um, should I just take the first one since I indicated left? You can just turn it off. Okay. Oh, okay. Now at the traffic lights turn right, okay? Sure. Okay, so at this roundabout, I'd like you to take the right turn, fourth exit. Okay. 
So that's the first exit, okay? Mm -hmm. This is the second. I think it's this this one, right? Yeah. Tesco's van that's in front of us now starts turning around on this sharp bend on the main road. Now it's not a great place to turn around but as soon as we noticed them we should have started braking as they could have continued reversing. Now we have got a large lorry behind us so it's not ideal to stop but worst case scenario you may need to brake. place to try and turn around. Um, roundabout, go right that exit. Right third exit. Yes, please. Right, if you could pull in and park up on the left on this yellow line just behind this large truck, sure. it's fine. Just take it really slow because it is a, just just wait, just wait. Yeah, it's best to hear it. Yeah. And just keep going a bit further, not too close, just keep it going forward. Yeah. Keep going all the way. And then just stop there, we're parking there. Okay. Thank you, secure the car. And switch off the engine as well. Brilliant, thank you. <laughs> oh, bless him. Oh God, okay. <laughs> All right, well, that's the end of your driving test. How was your drive? Um, the drive itself was fine. I, I I know the places where I've made mistakes. Yeah. Was it what you expected? <laughs> Not really. There were like very silly mistakes that could have been easily avoided. Especially the first one, I think what happened was there was a van in front of us that yeah. did not obviously take the left turn and then... But why do you think he didn't take that space? Because it was too small. Okay. But. Obvious. I mean, at that point, even I, I thought that it would be small for us. <laughs> I, saw, I saw your thought process. It went. Yeah. Exactly. And I was like, oh no, 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 no! I can see what's about to happen. And and that happened quite a lot. I mean, even at the signal where you had to use your brakes. I didn't actually. Oh, you did not. I okay. was about to. Okay, okay. I just left it to you because you. I was thinking, oh, we can stop, and then you started braking, and I thought, okay, he's going to brake, and then your brake is so late that you're going to the traffic. Like I didn't yeah, actually brake. I, I, I think I took too much time thinking what needs to be done. Yeah. Um, yeah, those two are the obvious ones. Um, I think when it comes to minors, when we took the first left, I think it was a little wide. It could have been more. Oh yeah, the steering better, on that yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. I think that that's those are all the things I noted, but I'm sure there are more. Okay, so in terms of driving, you know what you're doing. You tend to steer with one hand kind of wrapped around, which again, it's not a fault, but mm -hmm. it, it wasn't great control for your steering because of how you were steering with one hand. Right, okay. So just be careful because you're going to easily lose control of the steering wheel turning like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, especially if you're nervous in the test, you're going to get sweaty palms. Yeah. And if you get sweaty palm and on the steering wheel and your hand slips off even a little bit, that's yeah. a serious fault right there. Mm -hmm. So just use both hands on the steering wheel, especially for the tighter turns and stuff, because mm -hmm. we needed that. Yeah. Even when we did the uh, reverse park, it felt like you were really trying to do everything with one. Just use your other hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, otherwise the control and the actual parking was really nice. Yeah, the, the one hand thing is just a bad habit I've developed over the years. So. Yeah, so try and steer with both hands, especially with the tighter turns and stuff. Yeah. Um, overall, you know what you're doing. Roundabouts, we had a few <laughs> bit of trouble there, didn't we? Yeah. So we come up to that roundabout, we're going straight, and 
you've started now going right and you thought that was the, the second exit which again is fine but now we're doing a right turn with no signal right then i had to tell you to go back round and then the funny thing is on the one after i said okay we're gonna go second exit left turn it's, it's like a second exit but it's on the left you put your signal on and you went oh what do i do now i've, I've put a left signal on and i said well turn it off I thought so because <laughs> I already indicated that I was turning like Yeah, going but you left. were in the correct lane for one or oh, two. Okay. So you simply just need to turn it off. Okay, I, I thought it needs to be turned on only after I pass the first exit, which is why yeah, which is why I asked true. you if, if I should. Yeah. True. But we hadn't even entered the roundabout yet. We were still on the lead up, so we right. can simply turn it off. Yeah. Go in, get to the position, turn it back on. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not set in stone. Um with the gears we had a bit of trouble you kind of go up to three and two three and two which is fine but most of the time we were on 20 miles per hour roads and there was a lot of heavy traffic oh yeah and i think that one time i saw 30 on the display yeah, so i that's... thought okay that's 30 because there was no one ahead as well and so i speed up a little and then yeah we were about 26 at that point and i yeah. and i know that area is 20 but i thought let me wait for him to see a 20 sign mm. and there was a big 20 sign on the right and then i just had to tell you Okay. Yeah, okay. The whole area, we if you if you're going into a 30 zone, you'll see 30 zone, okay. and then we enter. And we when we came up to these roundabouts around here, there was a 30 zone sign, mm -hmm. and then all of the rest of it was 30, and then we went back into 20 again briefly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you've got to be careful of signs; they will be repeated. Um, if the area is quite busy, it wouldn't have been 30 there. Okay. okay. Um, I'm thinking I'm forgetting something. Oh, okay. Right at the beginning, we had one junction where you were quite cautious and you stopped and you started giving way to two cars. Yeah, I think we had priority we over, did. over there, yeah. I realized that when <laughs> I, I, I asked the other person to move. Yeah. And then once, once they moved in, I, I was basically ready to start, but then the other guy also came in the Is way. it okay to invite someone into the no, road like that? Yeah. Because yeah? <laughs> yeah. then you're taking on the responsibility that the road is safe, but what if there was like a motorbike overtaking you? True. Yeah, okay. so never invite someone like that. Of course, yeah. Um, yeah, just just be a little bit more careful with your junctions. Try and steer with both hands. Yeah, and don't follow <laughs> others blindly. Hands, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. I was leading up to it. I was like, no, he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. He's not. He's not. He's doing it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the end of our mock test video today. Hopefully, that video has been useful for you guys as well. Good luck with your test. Let us Thank know how you. it goes. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. Okay.